Typically, when we plan a trip, we choose the country of travel first and then we start looking for hotels. But in the Alpine village of La Cure, things happen exactly the other way around. You first choose the hotel and then decide whether you want to live in France or in Switzerland. And that's not all. In some rooms of this hotel, you can actually sleep with your head in one country and your legs in the other. This is the Hotel Arbe or L'Arbezie Franco-Suisse. In 1802, Napoleon Bonaparte annexed the Dap Valley. Switzerland retook it after Napoleon was defeated, but the French wanted it back. The two countries reached an agreement in 1863 when the Dap was transferred to France in exchange for a French land of the same size to Switzerland. The new boundary ran through the village of La Cure. A local landowner named Monsieur Pontius decided to build a bar and a grocery store right on the new border before the boundary went into effect. He wanted to make a fortune by smuggling alcohol, tobacco and chocolate by being in two countries at the same time. However, the family suffered losses and in 1921, Jules Jean Arbe bought the building and turned it into a hotel. The unusual placement of the hotel proved very useful during World War II. The staircase of the hotel is split between two countries with the lower half being French and the upper half lying in Switzerland. The upstairs of the hotel became a safe haven for Jews and members of the French resistance. Since the Nazis couldn't enter neutral Switzerland without scaling the stairs, the fugitives were housed at the top floor. For the same reason, in 1962 during the Algerian Civil War, Algerian freedom fighters also stayed upstairs. Today, the hotel still lies on the border of France and Switzerland. And if one was to book room 6, 9 or 12, they can actually sleep in two countries at the same time since the border runs right through the rooms. The dining area of the hotel is also split in two ways and you can order French cuisine on the French side and Swiss cuisine on the Swiss side. Merci beaucoup d'avoir regardé la vidéo. If you found the video interesting, don't forget to hit the like button and consider subscribing to Seanvolution for more such content.